Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you how to cook butternut squash in a bamboo steamer. So if you never thought of steaming your squash, you can very well do that. Steam gets nice and hot and can cook those chunks of, of your squash or pumpkin relatively quickly. So on my stove top I have a wok with about two inches of water, I would say. I have my bamboo steamer, I have two um, layers for it, and I have a beautiful butternut squash from my garden. And I'm just going to peel it and get it into chunks that will fit into my bamboo steamer. Okay, I'm just gonna use my vegetable peeler. I have a pretty strong one, and it does a very nice job of peeling. So I'm gonna use that to peel my squash. I save my peels like this for soups and stews. I'm gonna put it in a resealable plastic bag in my freezer for whenever I make a stock or a broth. So any parts you can't get peeled, I'm just gonna use a paring knife and finish off in a minute. So let's cut this guy in half and take out the seeds. Don't throw those out either. You can use those for snacks or you can save them for next year's planting. Make sure you check out my recipe for how to toast butternut squash seeds. Mom's gonna be so kind as to separate these for me. So carefully use your paring knife to finish off any peelings that you couldn't get off because of the strange shape. Now by using a bamboo steamer, we're actually going to be able to retain most of the nutrients. When you boil vegetables in water, lots of those nutrients leach out into the water and then you don't get to eat them, okay? And then you just dump them down the, down the drain. So this way you get to keep lots of the nutrients in there. If you've never tried it this way, it's a great alternative. Bamboo steamers are relatively easy to find. Um, you can find them in your Asian markets and other specialty places. Um, and they're relatively inexpensive. You can cook vegetables, you can cook meats in there, all kinds of cool stuff. Okay, let's cut that stem off. Look what a lovely little squash we got. Beautiful. So we are just gonna chop these into workable chunks. You know, relatively small, because you want this not to take forever either in your steamer. Now, squash is really a hard vegetable, but the steam will do a beautiful job of breaking that down. So you don't want them to fall through the slats on your bamboo steamer, so make sure that they're big enough. I'm doing maybe two inch chunks. And just lay them in one layer. The smaller the chunks, the faster it will cook. You want bite-sized chunks if you're going to be serving this um, right out of the steamer as your side dish. Perfect! So we're going to layer them on top of each other. My water, I can hear it boiling already back behind me. So you just want to steam them until they're knife tender. Use your little paring knife to see. And once this came up to a boil, I'm going to turn it down to a simmer because it doesn't need to be boiling ferociously either. You just want that steam to continue flowing. So place it on your bamboo steamer and let her rip. I would say I'm going to check it in about 10 minutes just to see where we're at. Okay. So my seasoning's ready to go and some butter and so I'm just going to check these for doneness. They've gone about 10 minutes. I suspect they'll probably take about another 10. They're softening up. They do need probably another 10 minutes. All right, we'll see you then. All right, let's test for doneness. Oh, they're done beautifully. Okay, now when you steam vegetables, you have the option of serving them just like that, extra healthy, or you can add some butter and stuff. We're gonna add a little bit of butter. So be careful, use your mitts if you need to. So there you go, beautiful steamed butternut squash in a bamboo steamer. All those nutrients are in there, fantastic. So I freshly cracked some black pepper. I'm just gonna add that, a little bit of salt, a dash or two of cayenne pepper. You could add smoked paprika, that would be nice too. And of course some butter. So I'm just tossing that up with the butter and the spices. And that's as simple as it gets. You know, beautiful little pieces of butternut squash, all adorned with butter and spices. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful too? You could serve that for a holiday meal. So let me try a little piece for you. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's really nice. I'm gonna add a little bit more salt. Maybe just a pinch more pepper. Stir those guys up again. Oh, beautiful, perfect side dish. Very, very healthy for you. And really, really easy too. 
So even now that you've cooked it in the bamboo steamer, now you have options if you want to mash it. Make sure you check out my recipe for apple cider mashed butternut squash. Um, and you're going to love it just if you wanted to put it in a casserole or something like that. Now you have it cooked. Beautiful. Perfect. Okay? So that's how you do it. That's how you cook butternut squash in a bamboo steamer. Okay? I hope that you try this recipe too. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly. YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. And you can find me syndicated on Roku. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world. Alright? Be a champion in your kitchen. And eat deliciously. Bye.